you guys are gonna come back next year, right? I am. That if, was the plan. I mean, I, you know, there's a lot of issues with that. I mean, obviously the concerts are in Europe, and yes. would, even in January of this year, Ruben, do you think I'd be able to make a statement like this to you? And even yeah. in January and February of this year, Ruben, at some point in your life as an American citizen, your passport <laughs> is worthless. And you'll only be able to go freely enter four other countries in the world. I know. I mean, it's Insane. just mine. So at this point, obviously, the Primavera Sound thing we we're supposed to do this year then got pushed back to Labor Day weekend. And I was very concerned about that because I talked to our booking agent and he said, you know, these people are really determined to get this to happen. And I was like, well, amazing. So like, I, like it might actually happen. This is like, you know, two months ago. And he said, yeah, like, depending on how, how they're doing with the COVID-19, it might actually happen. And I said, wow, that's crazy. He said, well, my big concern is, is that, and he had a tremendous amount of foresight. This might have even been more like 60 to 90 days ago. He said, I'm really concerned that they won't let Americans in. Mm. And that, I'm sure, affected their decision that I would say at least half the bill comes from U.S. and U.K. Mm. And, and does every year, if not more. Yeah. So at this point, if there is a window early in the year next year, then I would say in order to do these two concerts that are currently scheduled in June, that pavement, if given a window to leave this country for 60 to 90 days, might relocate to Canada or the UK or some part of Europe. So when the time comes, we can access these shows as opposed to sitting here in this country and not yeah. being able to leave the country. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'd say that the shows are so important to us, especially postponed one year. And we want to do it and ideally sort of move on to the next thing, which, if it is a successful venture and we feel good about it, that we may do a bit of touring that's completely undefined the following year. And there is, of course, the qualifier that it needs to be a good experience. So, yeah. So at this point, yeah, it's very important that for us, I mean, speaking just for us and anybody that cares about payment, that we can get out of our country and play these two shows. I mean, yeah. Um, and when you say a good experience, you know, you guys have been so close for so long. You're kind of like brothers. Is it kind of like that where you guys kind of kind of get on each other's nerves if it's taking too long? Like, you know, but it's all in good love, like, like, like I think brothers. It's out this. I think it, it's, 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 it all comes down. I think really – the uh, the other four members of pavement are basically willing and, to put down whatever they're doing um to do pavement at any time and cool. for, and steven's situation is different he's got all the different solo projects he's yes. got the chicks he's got um you know there's always a lot of a lot on his plate so it all really comes down to him and if he wants mm -hmm. to do it so anybody that sort of thinks like oh why doesn't pavement do more it's just we would but it's just when steven decides that it's what he wants to do because like yeah whereas pavement can play technically play shows without me or a guy replacing steve west or whatever just like just like you and Dante Elefante, you know, I tell you, a gig, a Dante Elefante gig without Ruben is just it's not, <laughs> not worth attending. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing can be said instead of Malthus. Like, so like, whereas you can get any turd back there to pound the skins. Okay. True. So basically, it's called me and Steve West turds. <laughs> you guys are the best turds. They are nice turds. Yeah, the best, very nicest harm, turds. Very harmless. <laughs> no, no, no. No, who knows? I mean, yeah. So when that when I use that language, it means hopefully he has a good time. Then he'll want to do more. Yeah, yeah, yeah.